All right, we are live. Yes, we are live. Hello, welcome everybody. I did not think I was going to be able to be with you guys today. I have had a headache that just would not quit. I probably should have tried another cup of coffee. Maybe that would have helped, but anyways, I am glad to be here today and I'm glad you could join me. I wanted to do a different project today and just my head is just like, I was like, no. If I have to do extra concentrating, let me just get my chair scooted in, sorry. If I had to do extra concentrating and extra strain on my eyes, that's not going to work. So I said, you know what? I received <clears throat> the, uh, thank you, Tara. All good. Okay. Um, I received some brushes from the Artegria company and also from one of our viewers. So huge thank you to both Artegria and Belle Bolzer because these brushes, um, these brushes came from them. Uh, <clears throat> Belle wanted to see if I would test this brand out and the Artegria company actually got a hold of me and they sent me some. So we have two different sets of theirs that we're gonna look at. And let me just bring you down. I believe this one will be correct. Here we go. And you can see <clears throat> on the desk, these are, so this is one of the sets. And this was the 10, it has 10 in the set. So fewer than the Nick Pro brushes we looked at similar price point, but, uh, fewer brushes. However, uh, a very, a quite different brush. This guy, uh, first when I looked at it, I was like, when it came out, I was like, is that, is that right? But I haven't, I haven't even rinsed out any of the, but still all stiff from being shipped. And let's just talk about the packaging, how they arrived. So these here, this set comes in, you know, this, it's like a cardboard tube. And then inside here, there is the velvet bag and that holds the brushes, which were all, well, now I had them. Well, basically all, each brush is individually wrapped in like a plastic sleeve. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then of course, you know, they had the, the hard tubes to protect, you know, the tips of the brush. So this set that came with 10 and then this set here, which are actually, uh, the two quill brushes. And I have linked these below. Of course, those are affiliate links. And thank you so much to everybody who's been using those links because that is definitely it. It helps every little bit helps and that's what helps me get things that you guys want to see and be able to bring it to you here on the channel so huge thank you to everyone for using them i appreciate it and of course we've been looking for something that would be comparable not i'm not i'm sure not the same i mean this is a you know this one brush is almost a 40 dollar paintbrush i do not expect that this set of brush uh set of brushes which is, you know, much less than that for the whole set is going to be exactly the same quality as this. But as far as a brush that is affordable, quality, holds water like we would want in watercolor and can deliver that pigment, um, my goal is to find a nice set that I can recommend <clears throat> for those of you who are looking for some that, you know, could be comparable to the silver black velvet brush, um, without necessarily having that price tag, because yes, they are expensive. I was very fortunate. I received mine as a gift. Um, yeah, so I was very fortunate there. Let's see. Hello, hobby artist. I see that you're here and D Lynn creative arts. I was talking in the chat before we started. Um, 
and this did not go up ahead of time. Like I did not usually, I try to post, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> earlier, earlier in the day. I, I didn't think I was going to be able to go live today. I really didn't. And then I thought, you know what? No, I want to, even though I have a headache, I would, I just want to hang out and have fun with everybody. So hopefully more, more we'll see, they will join us. And I'm sure, you know, YouTube probably put out a notification to everybody who has subscribed and rung that bell that we just went live. So I'm sure we'll have people filtering in and I will try to catch everybody as they do pop in. So these brushes, I will go over the sizes. So basically this was the packaging. Now this, I just showed it to you. The plastic sleeve I just showed you was over this box. And then in the box, of course, each quill had one of the, you know, hard tubes that covered the end of it. So they were, they were well, they shipped well. I am just going to, I'll just set them back here. <coughs> <clears throat> we'll put that in the uh, space of honor there. Those are the brushes we're using. You will see that guy right there. I actually just did that this week. Last week? This week. Yes, this week. It's Thursday. Hello. And that's going to be a video coming soon because I recorded that. I did get permission to use the reference photo for that. So that's coming. That one I did with the, uh, Yono, um, acrylic paint markers that I brought you last Thursday. I wanted to continue playing with them to see what exactly I could do. Uh, remember when I was doing the boat and the marker, like I, I put it on the small canvas and then the water touched it and it just kind of took off. And I was like, Oh, I wanted to use some like watercolor and see what I could do with that. So that will be coming soon. I have to edit that. Um, all right. I'm still working on the other brush video for, you know, fixing the brushes. That one, I just have to pull some more clips and get the editing. It's just sitting down and having the time to edit. I have like three videos I have to edit for you guys. So regular videos are coming. They will be returning and then on a regular basis. All right. So we're going to look at the quill brushes today and the, the set. Now these are both from the intuition set. And of course I have my Daniel Smith and core. I, I didn't put the link for core in the description. I can add them because this whole row here, if you guys recall, the bottom row is my set of 12 core colors. So we'll be using whatever it's, it's not about the brand of watercolor today. Um, that's why I'm not using one of the newer ones that I haven't brought you yet because today it's all about the brushes. And I thought, how am I going to test, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, sorry guys, like, it hurts to even cough. Um, but how am I going to test the brushes if I'm using watercolors that I haven't even used before? Because is it the watercolor that's not acting like I expect, or is it the brush that's not doing what I want? So I said, you know, what? I'm going to stick with, stick with my Daniel Smith. What a no. And, and the core, of course. And we'll just test them out and see what we get. So I have right now to start, I'm going to just grab some B. This is a piece of the B watercolor paper. This is linked in the description below. This one is the 90 pound. I do have the 140 tape down because I want to do a couple really, really simple paintings. And I'm going to kind of work back and forth because they'll need to dry in stages for what I'm thinking of. So as we're testing these things, which will also let me test the ability of doing nice wet washes and wet and wet and things like that. So, and the B paper, I just noticed it's very smooth on one side, the 90 pound, and it has a little bit more texture on the other. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, Joseph. Thank you. That's fine. <clears throat> he forgot to tell me that the audio and video is good. Hey, I could have been sitting here for the last 10 minutes not knowing I was talking to myself. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Tara told me. Tara told me it was okay. And uh, yeah, so Tara and Joseph are the two mods that are here today and they are 
both linked in the description below. So if you guys have not checked out their channels, I'm sure that a lot of you have checked out Joseph's channels, but hey, you know what? Kara also has a channel. So if you haven't seen it, check that out too, because she's got some, she's got some neat art on there. Okay. I'm going to grab uh, just some water and I'm going to spritz my palette so that as we are talking about the sizes that come in this, they will start to activate. So it's going to bring you a different project, which I am going to bring you next week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. I will be bringing you that next week. And guess what? It's not watercolor. I said, you know what? We have been doing watercolor. Um, <laughs> yes, you did. I, I don't know how that, how you missed that. Like we weren't seeing you on that one. I was like, surely I kept saying, maybe, maybe something's wrong. Maybe it's technical difficulty. And then all of a sudden he appeared and it was anyways, it all worked out fine. We all hung out. We hung out extra time and it was great. Um, yeah, I'm like, wow, I just like, where did it go? Let me just double check chat and we're going to talk about these brushes and I am really looking forward to, you know, we've, we've been doing last what I started to say, we've been doing a lot of watercolor and, or like water soluble media. And I understand that maybe that's not everybody's cup of tea <clears throat> and <clears throat> that's fine. I love to explore all different mediums, which you guys know. So if there's something, oh, if there's something that um, you guys would like to see me try or use, drop it in the comments and let me know whether you're here right now or you're here on the replay. Thanks for joining us. Drop it in the comments and let me know what are something, what are, what type of supply? Um, is there a specific, uh, specific, specific. Wow. It's not coming today. The, the headache is, I'm going to be struggling a little bit guys. So just bear with me. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's, this is the pollen is terrible here too. Oh, really? See, that's, I'm not sure if that's what caused it, but I'll tell you, it's just like, it's right between my eyes. So it definitely feels sinus. So possibly. All right. Just double checking. And yeah, if you want me to see your comment, you can tag at Clark Fine Art and uh, it, it should highlight it on my screen and I will be able to see that. You are very welcome. Uh, yeah, I like to do that a lot. Like I'll spritz, if I'm getting prepared, I'll just take especially if I don't know, if I'm just going to be playing and experimenting and I'm not using specific colors, I will just give it like, move that out of the way, bring my palette over here. I'll just take and just, you know, give a nice little, little spritz. Sometimes, I mean, I've done, if I know I'm going to be using a lot of a specific color, I, I don't know why I keep using the word and it just keeps sounding weird to me. I'll watch the replay and be like, you weren't even saying it right. If I'm going to use a lot of a specific, sp yeah, a particular color. We're going to go with that. I'm just going to go particular. <laughs> I'm going to be using a lot of a particular color. Then I'll actually grab the a pipette, which I should have one here somewhere, and put water on, you know, a drop or two of water in that one. But <clears throat> I like activating them ahead of time. All right, let's look at some of these brushes. So the set of 10 comes with you get a three quarter inch flat. You are going to get a, this one says a number six flat. So they didn't go with a size measurement on this one. Interesting. <clears throat> and of course I do have, of course, just turn this guy on, Oop, turn it back on, zero it out. It is in, it is in inches. 
<clears throat> Sorry, guys. It is definitely, I have got to have to go back to taking like daily allergy meds. I hate taking them every day, but it's going to have to happen. Okay. So 0.77, I don't know why that's flashing. It doesn't normally. So 0.77. So that's definitely a good three quarter inch, like it says. I don't know, maybe it would it would be horrible if my batteries were like wanting to die. So let's do this real quick just in case. So here's the three quarter oval wash. And that one. Are we zeroed? We are. There you go. Yeah, I don't know why it's flashing, but there we go. Three quarters. So it is what it claims to be. So loving that so far. And this number six, there you go. So it's not a quarter of an inch and it's not a half an inch. So they just went with, it's a number six flat. All right, shut that guy off. I might have to get new batteries for it. And then we have, oh, this is one more that is actually says it's a three eighths. And this was the one that I was like, what is this brush? If you saw my thumbnail, I was like, what is this? And this guy says it is a three eighths inch dagger striper. When I first pulled it out, I was like, it looks like an oval wash, but we'll see when we get it wet, how it does. But just so you can see at the tip, there you go. Okay. So, <clears throat> As far as their measurements go, they're, it's, it's not like one of the other set of brushes that we've looked at. They're pretty spot on. Um, so let's talk so far. I have not noticed a single loose, not a single loose ferrule so far in any of these. So that's great. Hello, George pencil art. Okay, now we've looked at the three quarter inch oval wash, three quarter inch flat, uh, number six flat, a three eighths dagger striper, which was different. I was very, <clears throat> I was interested, excuse me, that the um, dagger was included. Now, right now I can say there's one that's not here that I think I would miss. And there's one that I think they could have replaced it with. And if these brushes are great, this could have been like the perfect set of you want watercolor brushes. These are some watercolor brushes, but again, I don't know. I haven't even tried them yet. You know, we haven't, we haven't put them in water yet. So here is a number 12 round again, Feral feels good. The only thing I'm going to say, that I noticed as I was taking these out of the plastic and taking the hard tubes off. Let's see if I can get this to focus. See the space around the brush? Like there's a lot of space there around the edges of the brush. Like when I look at these, and again, of course, this is not apples to apples. I understand this is a silver black velvet and it's much different quality brush. But when you look at that, like you see the bristles when those come up, and focus for me there. You're not seeing anything around. I, I've not seen other brushes. I don't even think with the, <clears throat> do I? <clears throat> wow. Uh, I'm gonna turn this way and not too fast because it'll make me dizzy because my head is just killing me. I'm going to drop. You're going to hear brushes go everywhere. I happen to have the Nick Pro aren't within reach, but the Artify that we had looked at before, they were. And I just want to see. I told you I was going to drop brushes. And again, these were the Artify. We've seen them. I am going to be doing, um, well, it's only a tiny bit, but not even as bad as that. Like, can you guys see? It's going to want to focus on there. Oh, 
if I look and down that the barrel, like you're not seeing focuses on all my rings. There's only a tiny bit. Like I just happen to notice, and I don't know. I mean, I'll have to reach out and ask um, my contact at Artegria and be and <clears throat> inquire. Is it normal? Because I got to tell you, there's a couple more that are even worse than this number 12 and ask, you know, is there, hello, Stephen Wood. Thank you for joining us today. But I'm going to have to ask, is this normal for them? Um, and here's a, the number 10. So we have a number 10 round, number 12, number 10, and the number 10, like, and again, I've never even gotten these wet yet. So maybe the bristles are going to fluff right out. And I don't know. Can you guys see there? Look at that. So if Artegria, I will actually link right to this spot so that they can get a good look and share this with them. Is that what we're supposed to be seeing? Because that is a huge gap. And I'm just thinking that, I mean, the feral is, it's secure. Well, there's gonna, like, I can get a lot of water just, I mean, I always, you know, I set my brushes this way to dry or like this and I don't leave them set in water, but it just seems, I've never seen a brush with that much space around it. Um, and then there's the number eight round and this one, see, this one's not as bad. Let me get it to check that out. See that it's, it's not as bad like that. That other one was a lot. Uh, the number six is not that bad either. So number six round, a number three round. And then this one, which is a zero. And this one, look at the tip. It's like, it's very blunt. You see that? It's like, it's very blunt. There's no point. All the rest of these, for the most part, I mean, the three, well, it's a little bit, but see the points like they all have wonderful looking points and that's like really blunt i don't know again is this is this um i'm gonna link to this and i will ask artegria to take a look at what i was showing and get back to me on that and of course i'll share that that's why i want to do one video that's just dedicated to these brushes so i can let you know when i've had when i've said i was going to reach out to the company if they have reached back and given me information so I will make that and put that out for you guys. Eventually that will be all the information because there's one other set of brushes I want to look at before I'm done looking at brushes, <clears throat> but those will be coming. I'm not, we've done a lot of watercolor and today I wasn't planning on doing more watercolor, but I figured, you know what, with the headache, it will go. Cause I know Belle who sent was also some, one of the ones who, um, Belle was the viewer that sent these, to, uh, some of these brushes to me and then the company sent some to me. So I know that when she said last week, she popped in, it was mushroom season, mushroom, mushroom, off mushroom hunting. So hopefully she'll be able to, I'm sure she'll watch it on the replay. So if it's only on replay, hi Val, thank you. And we've got the number two and the number six quill. And these have the gold on them with the gold, you know, metal tie twist there. Sorry. I'm telling you words today. So we have those two. And then these of course are just like, uh, silver writing on the barrel, but all, all in all, <clears throat> the first thing I questioned was the space on the space in that barrel. That's the first thing I questioned. Um, I also will say, I'm going to bring this up with this piece of paper. Cause I want you guys to see this. Can you see here? I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up. I know I'm reaching right in front of my face on the other camera. Sorry. Can you see the tip of that? Oh, there's right there. See that stray hair? It's like hooking down. It is hooking. It's hooking right down. I don't know. Again, haven't, haven't wet it yet. Was it just one that was loose or am I going to be very frustrated with the tip of this? Because that is like, really will it focus up even more there you get ooh, come on focus for me mm, there it is see it can you guys see it 
that's going to make me nuts if that's, we'll see. We're going to see what happens. So definitely looking at that, looking at this. All right, let's see what we can make. Let's see what kind of marks we can make with these. I'm just going to rinse out because again, these have, they're, hear that? They're, yeah, they're hard. They have not been, they have not been rinsed out yet. Okay. Hopefully everybody has been having a good week. All of a sudden, yes, yeah, see also my nose wants to itch too. I have a couple quick ideas I thought we could do. Because I kind of like getting a little paint, you know, like an actual little painting, even if it's something small, in with what we're doing. Um, just going to catch the chat real fast. Did I see George put out a video? I'm gonna have to go check it out. I didn't see it. If it was, you put, did you put one out yesterday? <clears throat> I see, D Lynn said. If you guys haven't checked out George, check out George. He does some amazing, doing some, I like your, your current project. I'm loving. I loved your last project too. So, uh, let's see. Okay. Hopefully now I'm not seeing anybody that has tagged me. So, okay, we will continue. Just going to get a few more of these rinsed out. So I mentioned that in this set, the one that's like, does anybody know the one that I wish was in here? Which one is missing? I'm going to have to check it out. Tara says he did. Gonna have to check that out. If you all have not seen George yet, go check him out. The link is just uh, up there. Or the at, you know, at George Pencilite, so. Okay, just, I could have rinsed these out ahead of time, but I wanted you guys to see, like, how the points looked when they were, and how they were shipped. Yeah, that's, that's, this is odd. That's just odd. No, you know, you get it wet, it does not fluff up. It's not filling that space. Let me grab my paper towel. I am just feeling lousy. We're going to go and try to get through. Yeah, that's just, it's just weird. I don't know. We'll see what they say. Um, the dagger, let's get that dagger. I want to show you what that one can do. I'm curious. So the one that I wish was in here, there's no rigor. Like there's no rigor in here. I would have loved to have not seen a zero and have seen like a number two or a number three rigor because I think that, well, just, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you get those of you who do watercolor? Do you use, do you use a zero often or would you too rather have like a rigor brush? Like I think that would have made, and we're going to try this dagger and see how it does. Oh my gosh. Can you guys hear blue? Can you hear him? Chirping in the background. He's downstairs. I think blue just got home again. And maybe that's what set him off. I don't know. But all of a sudden he just started singing a storm down there. If for those of you who don't know, blue is the little, our little budgie, our little parakeet. His name is Blue because he is a blue, he is a blue parakeet and, uh, with, uh, he has violet factor. Basically what that means is you look at him at a certain angle and some of his feathers actually look violet in color. 
Hi, JR. Glad you could join us. So when we first got him, we just started calling him Blue. We did not want that to be his name. We could never come up with something more clever. So he's still, we just, we just call him Blue. He's Blue now. That's it. <coughs> uh, okay. Tara says, I haven't tried a rigger before and I usually use the bigger ones of my brushes. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what I'm saying. Um, oh, okay. Non-art related. Well, there you go. On Monday, we will see you on Monday. At some point on Monday. And because, of course, Joseph streams on Monday. So we will see everybody over there. Those of you know, I mod for Joseph on Monday afternoons. Same time that I usually go live, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Again, his description is, his link is in the description below. I cannot even talk today, guys. I'm like, it's making my stomach feel all lousy. I'm like, this headache has just got to go. Hopefully it'll calm down. I've been saying that all day. Hopefully it'll calm down. Okay. All of our brushes, our brushes have been rinsed out. All right. Oh, wow. Now see, blue doesn't really go. <clears throat> Steven said, Took me about 10 minutes to get Shadow and my cockatiel back in his cage earlier. We used to have a cockatiel. Kramer. We called him Kramer. And um, Blue, he has his cage, of course. He can go in anytime he wants to, but the door's always open. Um, unless we have company here and they're going to have children or they would, you know, some people are not bird people. So if it's going to freak you out that all of a sudden Blue takes off from his, like, He's got this whole tree thing that Lou is, had made. And um, so if it's going to free somebody out, then all of a sudden he takes off from his tree and flies around the room, we'll put him in and we'll close him in there. But normally, he's it's always open. He goes in when he wants. He comes out when he wants. Yeah, he's mostly out. He's always, pretty much always out. He'll go down near the door. Sometimes he'll go in at nighttime, but yeah, usually he's out. Now, two... He only comes out when we take him out because in two and blue, Tuka, two, my son, Conyer, and blue, they, we have not, I have not let them, they, they have not met. That is, I do not feel a safe thing to do for blue. And so I have never done it just because, I mean, Tuka is a son, Conyer. If he decides I, he doesn't want another bird here and they have separate rooms. So when we hang out in a different room, it's all Tuka time. And when we hang out in the other room below me where blue is, it's all blue time. Anyways, that's my pet story. Let's see how these work. I want to see this dagger. How does it mark? So just going to come right on in here and we will grab... I'm just grabbing Moon Glow. Hi, Jamie. And Jamie Eddie is here. Thanks for joining us. Moon Glow happened to be the first one I grabbed. So with our dagger, we can, of course, make some nice lighter lines. We should be able to get a really, there you go. Look at that. A nice skinny line, which we can. That, that point. Yeah. I, right now it's like, I shouldn't be touching it. And it is, it's, it's leaving a little bit there, but I, what I'll do is I'll probably, because it's not loose, it's just like a long hair. So I may just nip that one, that one wonky piece. Um, oh. oh, see, and it's, it's a lot of people are like that, George, uh, indoor pet birds make me nervous as does sudden squawking. Right. And yeah. Um, my niece was visiting and she had her boys with her and 
one of them went in, wanted to see Tuca, now knew that Tuca was in that room. But I think that um, he was not expecting the noise a sun conure makes. And if you guys have ever heard of sun conure, and they can be loud. And all of a sudden, he caught sight that he was coming into the, that space. And he just started, like, squawking. And it scared the heck out of him. It just really made him nervous. I am not feeling very great. I saw that question, and that was great. Um, let me just get back there. So, JR, by typing, which I did not know, so let's just let everybody know. By typing question, the way that JR did here, that highlighted it, the whole thing, very nice and bright on my screen. And I, I've not seen it do that before. So that was wonderful. And Mark for watercolor, yes, they are. So you see right there, premium quality watercolor art brushes. It is the Intuition series by Artegria. And these are linked in the description below. So... That is our dagger brush. Um, let me just, this is the quinacridone rose. And see, we can get really thick or I could turn that over and get nice and thin. My hands are shaky because I'm not feeling great because this headache is really messing with me. So I'm sorry, guys. You're not going to get a very straight line today. All right. Now let's look at the overwash because that is really what started this all because I wanted a nice brush for this brush, which, of course, that was the silver black velvet. I do not have that link below. I will. I will link them if you guys want to take a look at them. They are pricey. They are. I think they're worth every penny, but they are pricey. So just depends on what you like. All right. So our oval wash. I'm like, ooh, what color? What color? What color? I'm grabbing my undersea green. I need to refill that one because it is getting low. I love this color, though. And now with the flat, uh, excuse me, with the oval wash, it's such a workhorse because we can get a nice, wa and I don't even have enough paint on this. Ooh, look at the way those bristles just kind of, hmm, that's odd. So some of the bristles were like, let's see if you guys can see this. So when I press down. Will it pick it up? Do you see? See the extra, some are long on the outside. See them? It's like it's picking up some longer. Yeah. Those are, okay, those are definitely hairs of the brush. When I'm like this, I don't see any odd long hairs sticking out. Um, but when I do it this way, they do. I need to make a mix on my palette because I can't get enough in my brush. Just grab my undersea green and put some on the palette. Like the tube. All right. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't, it's not affecting its ability to make a wide line. It can do that just fine. And of course, with an oval wash, you can also get a much thinner line and holding it on its side. And then the point that they come to really, like if I just hit the tip of it, I can get a really fine line. I hope you guys can see that well enough. Zoom in just a little bit there. How's that? So, yeah. We can definitely get some nice fine lines with it. 
See how it lays down a good wash. I'm going to grab, I've got one taped down already. So this is a piece of the 140 pound. Let's just sit down beside me for now. The B watercolor paper. Pop that up there. And I think maybe I'm going to hold it. No, I'll do it that way. I'll do it that way. I think that's easier. Okay. Now this should give me a nice. Be able to wet the surface. Oh, my tape's not wanting to stay down. I just taped this a little while ago. So I did. Wait a minute. Brushes are marketed for watercolor. Yes, I did get that question. I didn't realize this. It was still scrolling because I was on that question. So if you guys asked me something else, my apologies. Doesn't look like it. So okay. I also want to see. Let's get these. I didn't get this quill rinsed out. Let's look at the quill brush because usually a quill brush will lay down some water, like a mop, right? It usually holds a bunch of water. And oh yeah. So there's our quill. Oh, it does that for putting some wet down a wet wash. That is nice. The flexibility of that brush, like I, I like that. I definitely like that. Yes. I like the feel of the quill. And it holds a bunch of water, bunch of water. So yeah, that paper is, you guys see, not really, but it is nice and wet. And I want to do, I'm going to take Moon Glow and I don't have a really clean spot on my palette. Okay. I'm grabbing one of my little plates I like to use and I'm just putting some, sorry, I have two of them over there and that other one was rocking. So just some, this is Moon Glow and I just want a thin wash of this first or a light very you know that's a great uh i'll be able to tell you let me just let me tell you here's the question so everybody will be able to see that it looks like it behaves similar to the silver black velvet three quarters so that would be this one right here and then if i get that wet okay so the way that the brush these brushes The way it lays down, it feels very similar to its flexibility. So yes, you're correct. Like that flexibility there feels quite similar in that aspect. Okay. I'm just dropping in. I just want to drop get a little bit through here. Hmm. Feeling well. It's like, do you ever get those headaches that just like nauseate your stomach? That's what's going on, like a lot right now. Everything dries so fast. Like, this should still be so wet. And no, it's not. I want that very wet and wet, kind of a moody sky. Is 
was like, just not moving on the paper today. Hmm. I don't know why, but it's not. It's just not moving the way I want it to on the paper. I don't know. I do like the way the quill feels, though. I am just, like, so not feeling well. Okay. There we go. So that we can see that. Yeah, I don't know what is going on, Dan. It's like, I have like a power aid next to me too, but it's like all of a sudden my stomach is just like nauseated. I am super hot. Like I just got super hot. Yeah, Jamie, I, I had a headache. Like I almost didn't go live today because I had a headache and then I thought, okay, well, you know, I can. And then now it's just like all of a sudden. Whew. Hot. All right, our three quarter. I'm gonna grab some neutral tint. And if it doesn't improve, then sorry guys, I am going to, I'll, I'll call it, but because there's just no way. And this is just neutral tint by Daniel Smith that I'm adding in. And again, I'm going for that sort of, you know, moody sky. And I'm like, if Lou was in the chat, I'd be like, hey, bring me up a cool towel, would you? Just in case. Maybe that's all I need. I don't think, I didn't want to grab the bottom of that. I wanted to keep the bottom. That's okay, we're going to just pull some of that down. I wanted to keep the bottom a little. Yeah. Just thinking like clouds, you know what I mean? Just cloudy. And it's not that I didn't eat either, because I ate, actually ate something just beforehand, too, to make sure. But just in case. All right, just bring in my water. You guys will hear it glug itself back in. That quill holds a lot of color and water. Oh, my goodness. Lots. Hello, Caution Artists at Play. Thanks for joining us. All right, and I think I want, okay, why are you not giving me more water? You guys are hearing my rinse well fill itself back up. Shauna Rowe Jackson, for all of you guys who follow Caution Artists at Play, I loved the pencil you just did with the tree. The pencil piece, I should say, with the matte graphite. All right, I am going to, I'm taking my, you guys can see this on here. So this is my undersea green. And you can see it's already separating. It has some blue. I'm just going to actually take a little bit of neutral tint 
and mix that in with it. I want to really darken that green up. Really darken it up. There we go. Because I want to come in and now I'm just going to pull a little bit of the water out. Usually I'll do this with my round. I'm going to try it with this first, but then I am going to grab one of the rounds and test it out. You are welcome. I am glad that you are here. All right. I don't usually get headaches either, George. This is just like something else. don't know. Like, ugh. And I'm actually looking at a reference photo and I will have to link it. I'll have to link it below. I'll pull it in for you guys in just a moment and show you what I am looking at as I'm doing this. So I'm thinking these are, you know, every, we're going to put some evergreen trees here. And I'm just going to kind of plop that down towards the back. And I do not have enough. Do not have enough color mixed up. I'm just going to get some more. So that is the Daniel Smith Undersea Green. And a little bit of neutral tint. And there we go. So now we have a nice milky consistency mixture. Yeah, there we go. A little bit darker. And it's still quite not as dark as I want. I want a little bit more. A little bit more neutral tint in there. There we go. And doing this way is going to really disperse these and just kind of add to that, right? It's foggy. And then to grab in the quill, so I just get this still. I want to keep this wet. It's going to be very dark down here. More neutral tint down the bottom. Just going straight in with the neutral tint. And I'm going to switch over to my round because this is just not giving me. You hear the bird? Did you hear the bird on here? Yeah, he was just talking. All right. So this is the number 10. Number 10 route, where's the eight? I want the number eight. So if I look at the number eight, this is a six in the silver black velvet. Those are pretty close. The six in the Artegria is actually a bit smaller. So it's kind of almost in between those two. So I know that that's a size I really like. So I'm going to go with the eight. This water is, yeah, that oval wash and that quill hold, you're hearing my rinse well loading itself back up there. All right, just more neutral tint in with that undersea green. more in here. So again, these are just like going to be thinking, you know, misty, misty trees, misty trees. All 
Oh, see, I know exactly what you are saying, d -Lynn. I just had that thought. Just had that thought myself. I was like, I was wanting to do something and I thought, you know, I, I keep doing these things and I, I just want to be able to just have some projects where it's like really loose and just have fun and, and not be so stressed over how accurate or how, you know, perfect something was just, just play, just experience it. And it's hard sometimes. It's hard sometimes, especially when you tend to work more realistically to just kind of let it go. So this is like, you see it spreading that wet and wet wash. I want nice and thin and my hand is shaking. Sorry guys. It's, it's a headache. And actually the headache, I don't know. Maybe it was the headache breaking. I'm like, the headache feels a little bit better, but the feeling nauseous now doesn't. And I'm doing this lower than I want the height to be because it's, it's still quite wet. So it's going to spread. This is going to move. I'm going to want to bring that up smaller and those will kind of blend into each other. So yeah, my hands are shaking like crazy. Sorry. I love, I love these kind of evergreen, doing these kind of evergreen trees, the wet and wet. I'm going to come back over with more, a little more definition, but maybe, maybe we won't. Might just darken it up a little bit. Uh, for this, I could even be using a smaller, a smaller round if I wanted to. This is definitely holding. It's definitely holding a lot of pigment. I'm, I'm going to say that the brush is definitely holding a lot of the pigment. I'm being able to keep dropping in for a while before I feel the need to go back for more. So yeah. That's certainly, you see, we're still going. So first impressions, these are definitely holding. Um, they're holding the color well and the color's moving out of them very well. Okay. I'm going to grab some more of this neutral tint. I really want to darken these up more. I'm trying, trying to just, I'm like, just let it, it let's just get through a, a little painting. And that was neutral tint. I did not want that. I wanted. I wanted more undersea cream. Okay. I'm just going to pull some of that water out of my brush. Oh, Shauna, you're, you're, um, you're, well, a little ways from me, but not that far. Did you guys get snow? They've been threatening us with snow, like, since last night. I haven't seen a flake, but I have not seen a flake up here yet. Hmm. 
And guys, I apologize if anybody has asked me a question and I have missed it. I'm just going to darken up some of these trees. I know, Jamie. Jamie says that's a bad Florida horde this time of year. Yeah. But, I mean, up here where we are, it can still happen. I just saw you guys talking about left-handed. I never, well, of course, I'm, I'm, I am right-handed, but I've never seen so many left-handed people until I started following artists on YouTube. And I was like, I have a lot of uh, artists that are left-handed. I'm just not quite getting what I want from this brush. And it could be my paper's still a little wet. A little too wet for what I want to do. Yeah, it rained a lot. Rained a lot here yesterday, too. But then they said, like, overnight, it was supposed to be snow. We did not wake up to snow. Yes. Oh, come back here. Jamie asked, okay, so is it normal for it to shrink down extremely low when it dries and sets? I filled pans and they barely have any paint left in them. Yeah, you're definitely going to get, sorry guys, it's like, mm. you are definitely going to, they will shrink down because it's going to dry, you know, they're going to evaporate out. Um, in the pan and then of course you'll add water to it. So for example, uh, Schmicky, that when they do their pans, they do four pours to fill a pan. They will they will pour and it will that will dry and then they will do another pour and that will dry because they they do they shrink down. So yes, that is normal. That is normal. Um, especially depending on how much you filled it, uh, what paint, what company, I'm not sure what paint you would be, you know, you're talking about that you did that with. Um, so yes, that can happen. That's a little bit better. That's more the color I'm looking for. Dale or Rowney. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't filled a pan with Dale or Rowney yet to be able to tell you. Um, what I, you know, what I've experienced with that. I don't know.
So I can say that I do like the way that these, they seem to be not only holding a lot of pigment, but I'm liking the way the pigment's flowing back off of them as well. It's hard. I want to maintain, especially like some of the tops. So I don't want to do too much. I don't want to overwork this area. This, oh, you'll see, I ran into that problem with the, uh, the painting that was behind me. I'll show you again. I will try to remember to show you again. But I just dumped a lot of pigment right there. And I'm going to come back into this top part, but I'm going to mist it. I am not going to come in with my brush and soak the paper because I don't want to cause, um, I don't want to cause a lot of blooming in backgrounds, but I want to add some more color up here. Sorry guys, I know I'm not as being as talkative as I usually am. And just, just trying to focus through. You guys might do evergreens. Do you find them easy or difficult? When I, I was so intimidated by them when I first started, I was so intimidated by doing some of the evergreens and watercolor. I'm learning how to paint. And now, I don't know, sometimes I just find them so relaxing. And apparently my chat down here is not scrolling. Sorry. I'm not getting to see a lot of what you guys are talking about today. And my apologies for that. I am trying to pay attention if you tag me. Yeah, when I first when I first uh, started my journey into the wonderful world of watercolor, it was so so intimidating to try to do an evergreen. Just dab my way through. More of a neutral tint. Grab some more undersea green. Oh, 
M gram. I just got I just got my first tubes of M gram. They just came. I have not tried M gram yet. I'm looking forward to it. I wanted that one to be a little bit more subtle and I went in with that. Oh, thank you, my happy little trees. I'm just going to actually see if I can't. Just lightening this up just a tiny bit by adding just a little bit more water into the mix. Now I'm going to get a lot of some of that water out of my brush. So I just pick up this color, not extra water. That's what I thought. I was like, this kind of looks like a scene. Something you would see here in Maine. Let me bring in the I'll bring in the picture. And it's not exactly the reference photo, but it is based off of this. And I did not get a link to that in the description. I will update that later. So that it is there. This one is from Unsplash. I think I'm going to let that one just kind of fade off there. All right, guys, I'm going to have to have you give me just a moment. Please forgive me. One moment.
Okay, sorry guys, sorry about that. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try to wrap this guy up because yeah, whatever is going on, I am not, not doing great. So I'm just gonna, not far from where I could just be wrapped up with this, so. Okay. All right, I need a very damp area over here. So I don't want to just come in. I want this some more over here, but I, I already pushed a little bit here of a bloom, which I wasn't too worried about before because I knew, I knew I was going to be coming back into that area. And I want it to be nice and wet so that this will just kind of disperse and just look like some nice, big, soft, more in the background trees. I'm like, unless all of a sudden I start feeling better, then we're gonna probably be a short stream today. I don't know what the heck it, I don't know what it is, what was going on. Mm. Now, I don't want to get a hard edge here. You see, like I'm starting to, a little bit of a hard edge forming and I don't want that. So I'm just going to come in. All right. I'm just going to kind of soften that up. Now we're going to a little bit more of that green in. wasn't giving me what I wanted. I want that like kind of foggy, you know, foggy, that foggy feeling. Hmm. Probably going to overwork if I don't leave it alone. I want to soften a little bit of this edge. I'm going to take just a little, just tissue. Just get that damp. Hmm. 
Hm. I'm going to come in with a little bit of need some lunar blue. Some lunar blue and a little bit of neutral tint mixed in with that. I want to put some more blue to my sky color here. This palette, you can see it beating up. Ugh, it drives me crazy. I need to take a magic eraser to it. So this is the Meaden, a Meaden palette. All right. Just a little bit more. I want to just want to make sure that this is nice and so when I drop this in, it'll just kind of spread around. I want it to move for sure. I want this to move. I'm going to have to go back and read everybody's chat later. Cause I, know, I can see that you guys are talking, but every time I try to read extra, that's where I'm not tagged. Yeah. My son is like, wants to do a somersault. I'm not cool. Not really, not looking for some dry brush. There we go. Now I'm just going to come in with some clean water. Kind of move some of this around. Uh, I'm still certainly still trying to decide on that. I do like that they they are definitely holding. They're definitely holding a bit of. Um, bit of water uh, water a bit of pigment it's it's definitely flowing off of them fairly decent um and i'm getting a little bit of my green trying to get carried away up in the sky there which we don't want there we go don't want that to take off to places we don't need it. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Again, just some clean water. So I'll definitely have to, I'm going to have to use them a few times before I really will make up my mind on that. 
But so far, I'm not disappointed. I could definitely say that. Now I'm starting to get that kind of moody, cloudy feeling. Yeah. There we go. So let me bring in that reference I was talking about. And now I have to let that sky dry. I'll have to come back in after and add the bird. Whew. Just a second. I'm just going to grab that reference photo. And this one comes from... Unsplash. No. Where did this come from? I think it was Unsplash. I will get the link. There it is. Oh, that went big. I don't know why that went so large. Let me shrink that down, sorry. And that's the reference photo I've been looking at. Sorry, guys, give me just one moment. Okay. Sorry. Thank you so much for your patience today. Uh, this has just been, it has been a stream. Ah, <sighs> okay. So yeah, it's, it, it's not as dark. It needs to be darkened up down through here. Um, I don't want to mess that up. So I'm going to let it kind of sit, kind of let it sit for a minute. And I do want to put the bird in. So I'm going to have to put him in and let that dry. And of course I went a little bit darker on my, you know, over here than it actually is on the, up in here on the reference through, you know, this side. But I saw that and I was like, oh, that sky just looks like fun. And mine's a little more pink purple tones to it. If I would just would have gone with the lunar blue, that should have been the choice. I should have just gone with lunar blue. And uh, I probably would have gotten very, very close to that. I'll probably try it again. I'll do another real, you know, have another go at it just to see 
how that looks and how I like it. But I love these, especially with the, like, when it's, you know, looking like all foggy and the misty trees and stuff. They're just so, I don't know, I find them easy and relaxing. I'm like, I just want to start learning. I'm like getting ready to just lay more in here. And I'm like, no, and that's way too wet. I would never be able to put that bird in there right now. So that was the photo I've been looking at. I will get it linked up. It's going to take me a little bit because I can tell you that as soon as I'm done, I'm probably going to go lay down because I don't know what is going on, but I am certainly not feeling well. So let's just see, let's talk about, shut that off. There we go. Let's talk about the brushes. Um, and I'm, well, I'm just gonna, I'll leave that up top. I didn't get to use the flats uh, today, but I guess I would, exp I think they will, pretty much how you would expect it to a flat to work. Uh, I'm going to reach out to the company to find out about the spit that space. Cause it's these two right here, the 10 and the 12, definitely on the 10, like the space around that, the bristles of that brush are just something else. So I'm going to reach out to the company. I'll let you guys know what they say. Is this normal? Is that just how they are? Have you guys seen other brushes that are like that? Because I don't know. So the dagger, of course, has the extra piece. I need to probably give that a tiny little bit of a haircut. I don't want to go too, you know, too much. I don't want to mess up the tip of it. But it's definitely, that tip's not right. So the brushes that came in the set, JR asked, what brushes came in the set? So it was, whoa. <clears throat> Excuse me, the Artegria. There was 10 brushes. This is the Intuition series. And in that was our three quarter flat, which I did measure. It is three quarters, a number six flat. We got the three quarter oval wash, which so far I'm liking. Whoops. I'm like, I just had it in my hand. The three eighths uh, dagger striper. And then the rest of them are round and you had the round 12, 10, eight. Then we had the six. This one was a three. And then the zero, which again, I feel has quite the blunt end to it but then the zero. I would rather have seen instead of the zero, I would rather have seen like a number three rigger or something, a liner, you know, a script liner or a rigger brush, excuse me, something like that. But all in all, so far, um, I am not disappointed in the brushes. Um, I have a couple questions, so I will message the company. And then the other set, of course, that I was looking at was the set of two quill brushes, the number six and the number two. And I didn't get to really try out the number two yet. I will. I will be using these brushes more before I form a final opinion on them. Um, and the number six, the number six holds a ton of water for sure. It'll also hold a ton of pigment. So 
when I went to rinse that and I put it in my water, I instantly I had to I had to clean my water because it just filled it. Filled it with pigment that was still in there. So those were the brushes. Um, any other questions on these brushes? Just to be sure before we call it, before we call it, and I am, I'm going to call it early guys, because it's just, I am not doing great. Of course, I put myself back on camera. You guys will probably see I'm not doing great. There we are. Okay. So, yeah. Probably look a little bit better than than I did a minute ago. <laughs> so I hope uh, again. My apologies uh, if I knew that after I started streaming, I was going to start not feeling well or have that happen. I just would have said no. I'm just not going to go. Thank you, Stephen. <sighs> but thank you all for joining me today. I will see you next week assuming that i'm feeling fine and this is just some weird fluky i don't even know um the project i originally had wanted to do today i will do next week it is not watercolor we have been doing quite a bit with watercolor water soluble media so um i want to try to do a few i want to do a few that's different I want something different. Next week, it's not water soluble. Well, I guess you could. Technically, you could. But that's not... We're not using... We're not using water next week. So, I hope you will join me for that. And, uh... Ugh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you to all of you. I, I just... Thanks for, thanks for your patience because... Oh, yeah, I definitely... I had to pause a couple times not feeling well so and i'm starting to feel like it's waving again so i am going to let you go but i will be sure to pop another video up right here and you can watch that one if you're joining me on the replay you can hop over there there and see that next and thank you everybody else for joining me. my headache broke but now my stomach is just feeling really nauseated and yeah i'm gonna go lay down but thanks for joining me guys thanks for your patience. I will certainly show you more of these brushes and I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye.